cost variable is greater than the expire variable, the loop until condition will be met and the logic will continue down the page. At this time, you need to communicate that the player holding Sphero is out with some lights and sound, and also shake the robot. Go to Controls, drag a delay block, make sure you place it after the loop until block, and set it to one second. Now go to the Lights and Sounds category and drag a sound block and choose the game You Lose Sound, and a main LED block and change it to yellow. The last part of the expire sequence will be the potato, or Sphero, shaking. Go to the movement and drag a raw motor block. Set both the left and right motor power to 4095, and then the duration to 2 seconds. The Sphero should be pretty hard to keep in your hands at this point. After the expire sequence, a player will be removed from the game, and the rest of the players will keep playing until there is one left. Go to Controls and drag a delay block and set it to one second. Now you need to let the current player know that he or she is out, so drag a speak block and write you're out. The last step is to reset the toss variable to zero so the game resets for another round. Go to Operators and drag a set block. Go to Variables. Drag the toss variable in the left side of the equal sign and set the value to zero. That's it! You have built the entire hot potato game. Go to the next step to play the game.